is fantabulous. This is Danny. Danny, can you tell us what you did? Because this is one of the most brilliant things. I'm hugging a plate. That's how much I love this. Oh, I call it upcycling. Upcycling. And it's a positive word on recycling. And obviously, you're used to all these like mismatched little cups, this little fun bird you might find at a flea market. And you don't want to throw them away. No, of course not. But you can actually upcycle them into something really functional. And here, look at this. This glue I used is a super epoxy glue. Look at this. Nothing is Not going to fall only off of this. Is this one of the coolest things I've ever seen? But what an amazing gift to bring to somebody's Love house. That. You make this, fill it up with your Christmas cookies or even store bought Archway home style cookies. <laughs> <laughs> and you bring it over and you go, here. And you're like the show off person showing up. Oh, I love that. You upcycled my upcycled I idea. Upcycled, upcycled. That's why we're so I love good that. together. Love I love it. Love it. Yay. <laughs> We had so much fun that night. It was so great. That and, was great. You know, I, I went on and on in that piece about Danny. This is Danny Sue, everybody. <laughs> the man that created the upcycling. All of the beautiful reeds that were uh, hanging all around the Soho loft, um, Danny made those, and you're gonna show us how to do the same. They look really, really fancy. They look and very really, expensive. They look, because they're gold yeah. painted. So you yeah. think these are store-bought, they're gonna take a lot of time. All you need is some newspaper. So go to your recycling bin, Ray, this, cut them into sort of irregular squares Upcycling or rectangles. Upcycling is the coolest. <laughs> I just love it. And anyone, even if you're craft challenged, are you really? I am, oh. I'm very craft challenged. You are gonna be able to make this. So, okay, let me give you a little stack of newspaper. Okay. This is how easy it is. Blink and you'll miss it, okay? Blink and you'll miss it. Stack a newspaper, you sort of bunch it up like this, fold it in half. Like you want, the more sloppy you do it. Oh, good, because I did mine very works. sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then you take something called a zip tie. So we all need, like, know these from the home improvement store. You literally just take this over your wreath frame. We're gonna put this on top. Do you know what I know these from? Watching cop shows, and they use these instead of handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, all right. I love how one person applauded how mentally upset I must be to know that. <laughs> so we literally take our zip tie and you just zip it all the way around, secure it in place tightly around your wreath frame. You fluff it, goes it out. It like this. You pull, 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 you fluff it yep. around. Pull, pull, pull. And you keep going all the way around the frame. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Flipping it in. You cut off the excess of the zip tie, obviously, with a pair of scissors. Gotcha. After and you, you keep do, going around, around. You do like 15 of them, and look at this. Within like five minutes, you, you end, end up with up that. With a gorgeous read. Now, this is kind of cool on its own, but right. you know, if you want to make it fancy like we did for your loft, do you mind holding it for a second? Not at all. You just take a little bit of metallic spray paint, and I'm Good not going to do the I whole thing. I wore a gold shirt. <laughs> you I'm just, about to get spray painted. You literally just spray paint it like this in a well-ventilated area, of course. We've got one hanging on the door there. It's just gorgeous. I mean, it's so easy. Love it! Love. <laughs> put the how-to, although it's so easy, you probably don't even have to jot it down. We've got the how-to's up on our website and all the great tips from all of our collaborators for our great Soho Loft Party. That's all online if you guys want to check it out to, you know, be copycats at home. Uh, you know, there's another great thing to parties other than food and decoration, having a good guest list. Up next, a friend who has some party tips, and she happens to be a really talented actress, too, Piper Garibaldi. Thank you, Danny. Thank you.